"'Twas the night before Vlogmas, when all through the house, not a puppy was stirring, not even a mouse. Cameras were charged by the outlets with care, burnout looming above us. Help me, I'm scared. The puppies were resting, cookies baking in the oven. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. As the night winds down, we snuggle up in bed. As the worries of Vlogmas begin to haunt Remy's head. All right, Rem. It's your 10th year of Vlogmas. You ready? I don't know. I just keep feeling like something's gonna go wrong. You'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. Hello. Okay, so I'm coming at you currently at, oh, it's 1 a.m. on the dot right now. Hello. I'm not tired, even though I should be, I think because I woke up so late this morning. So I figured I would do something productive at the start of this vlog. I mean, it's early in the morning and, you know, I could be scrolling on my phone watching TikTok, but instead I am going to put my laundry away so that I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed and like one thing is checked off my list. So yes, Merry Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve. I can't believe how fast this Vlogmas went by. This Vlogmas has flown by quicker than any other Vlogmas I have ever done before. And it's my 10th year. There's a dog at the door. Which one do you think it is? I think it's Daisy. Three, two, one, reveal. It's Daisy Mae. I knew that scratch from anywhere. My queen. You gonna chill with me while I just clean? Okay, I love you. Yes, so today, normally, every other year of Christmas, my family celebrates tonight, but this year we're celebrating tomorrow because Cal's family is flying in today. They get in later tonight, and we have so, 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 so much to get done on the checklist before they arrive. If you guys missed the past couple vlogs, I've gotten a lot of the cooking done already, which I'm really excited about because I think I'm actually gonna be able to hang out with my family on actual Christmas day. Talk and drink and just have all these fun times with them because normally I am just like furiously cooking in the kitchen. So yes, yesterday, if you missed yesterday's vlog, I did a ton of stuff. I made the creme brulee, did the stockings, I made cubby, I made the compound butter, wrapped the presents, did the cheddar cheese dip, did the chai dip, cleaned the house, prepped the scalp potatoes and prepped the stuffing. So today I still have quite a bit to do, but way less than yesterday. Yesterday was like my crazy day. One of the things on the list was to put the laundry away, check on that or actually I'll check it after it's done. Cal and I are gonna wake up early because we need to give the girls all baths because they're all a little bit dirty. I don't know if you saw my pants, but I'm covered in dog hair right now because I just spent the last like 30 minutes brushing each one of them so that their baths go easier. We need to bathe them. We need to set up all the beds for all the guests coming. Cal needs to go pick up the pies for dessert tomorrow. I need to put my laundry away. And then I've gotta make cinnamon rolls for the first time in my life. Wish me luck on that. I need to prep all the breakfast stuff. I wanna do a house tour for you guys. And then I need to get working on the turkey. So honestly, less than yesterday. I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy. But yes, I thought I would just come on, say good morning and put all my laundry away together. So let's do that. breath from trying to jump up to put my jackets away but all right guys that only took like 10 minutes let's go take our makeup off and you're ready for bed hello you are on the little thing alicia got me i love this thing so much i feel like i'm on like a vogue welcome to my bathroom video all right shirts coming off Woo! oh my god i almost just threw my ring down the drain starting with my herborian Centella cleansing oil. This stuff is awesome. Work it into the skin. Cleanser, feel squeaky clean. I can't believe I have so much energy right now at 1 a.m. I gotta open up a new pack of these. These are the Clean Skin Club little towels that I can use to clean my skin that has way less bacteria than, you know, like your hand towel. And I swear, by using these, my skin has cleared up so much. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Jan Marini Age Intervention Duality. Pump of that. Apparently it helps with acne and premature wrinkles. Also gonna do the Summer Fridays Rich Cushion Cream. Love this stuff so much. This is, I think, my third pot of it. All right, I'm gonna put my pajamas on and go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Hello everybody, I am up. It is 9.09 .09 a.m. and it was rough getting up this morning, but I am here. I wanted to get up a little bit earlier, but I kept snoozing and that is okay. I'm too tired to talk right now. Nothing makes you up more than just washing your face with water. Is that just me? As soon as I do that, I am up and I am ready for the day. beginning my day with liquid IV and we are going to give all the girls baths because they are a little bit stinky right now and we want them to smell nice and fresh for all the family that's coming. We're gonna do all three together. I think Cal's gonna wash and I'm gonna blow dry. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, girls, welcome to the mom and dad mobile grooming spa. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to rumble? Momo looks like she's ready. Let's get it. Which one do you want to use? Ooh, let's do the way. Spa experience. Okay. Show the vlog what you're using on their hair over here. The lovely shampoo. The hand behind method. There we go. All right, Luna first. Luna first. Come on, it's stinky. Yeah, stinky. On, the stinkiest one. And then the breathiest one. Oh, uh -huh. make sure it's not too hot. Just a very tepid. And then the queen. Hi, queen. Let's right. go, queen. <laughs> She's like, no. Please, no. I used to shower with Daisy when I'd give her a really? lot of bath. It would just be her and I, and I'd just give her one of the shower. Aww. That's so cute. A little skin to skin. Good girl. All Here, three of you. You go on the left, and then I'll go on the right. Okay. Shampoo. Hi, Stinky. Hey, oh my gosh, girl. you are so stinky. <laughs> you need a mm. you need a bath. Good girl, Daisy May. You're doing so great. Okay, ready? Face one, two, three. Good girl, one, three. Good girl. All right, Looney. He's gonna smell so good and fresh. Oh my God, Mal. She's when they're wet. Looks so different. <laughs> <laughs> shake it out, girl. Shake, shake, shake. Come on, baby. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Who are you? What kind of dog is this? Who is that? Who is that? My shake. Come on, shake it out. <laughs> shake it. Yeah, girl. Shake it out. There it is, there it is Daisy May. Right. Almost done, girl. And then it's your turn, mommy. Good job, Easy May. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're almost done. We got Beyonce here. The sock. There we go. She's so good. Woo! I had mall she duty. Come here. Oh my gosh, look how cute we look. I trimmed their ears too so they look like little puppies. You know, Daisy loves to stick her head out a fast moving car's window for hours at a time, but she wasn't feeling the blow dryer today. Luna though was feeling the blow dryer. She did really well. Also, just so everyone knows, we do very, very cool air, so we know they don't get burnt, obviously. And now, because you guys were so good, <gasps> you guys ready? Sit, day for you. 
And for you. Good job, guys. Now it's time to bathe myself and also wash all the stuff. There's like dog hair everywhere. So gonna do some laundry, gotta do some uh, cleaning and then shower myself. Also, Cal's on Momo duty, obviously. So he'll be back soon. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm showered. I'm gonna be so honest. I am so tired today. I just laid down for like 30 minutes, got some rest. And then I decided to come down. I think I'm also tired because I haven't eaten yet today and it's already almost noon. I need something to give me some energy. So, ooh, it smells so good. All right, plates. Made Cal and I some sourdough toast from Shots Bakery, and then I have this butter here that I've been really, really, really wanting to try. This is a French butter. I've seen so many things about how insane this butter is. So, just a piece of bread sounds so good. Carbs to give me some energy to move on with the day. Oh, wow. Even like fresh out of the fridge, it's really nice and spreadable. Nice and cuttable, I should say. Gonna melt some butter onto this toast. Cal, do you want butter and jam on your toast, babe? Butter. Just butter. I'm feeling something sweet. So I'm doing the butter as well as some of this Harry's Berry strawberry jam. Insane. All the dogs are tired, I'm tired. I think Vlogmas is finally getting to me and it's the end. I am gonna vlog tomorrow for you guys. I know some people stop on day 24, but I'm gonna go till 25. I wanted to go even longer, honestly. I wanted to try and vlog through the rest of the year, but I don't know what we're doing with Cal's family, so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I don't know exactly what our plans are, but we're gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna try and vlog some more after Christmas for you guys if exciting things are happening, but if we're just sitting at home and watching movies all day, then I probably won't. But I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys want more vlogs, keep checking back after Vlogmas and I'll post if anything exciting is going on. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some of this strawberry jam. Your toast is ready, Cal. Just a really thin layer of this on top. Here goes nothing. Oh my God, that crunch. Oh wow. At first I was like, tastes like normal butter. You can taste the quality difference. I feel like I'm being brought back to life. Wow. I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch up with you in a minute. My stomach is feeling so unsettled today. I don't know what is going on. I'm having a banana. Hopefully it settles soon. I'm getting a way later start of my day than I wanted to, but I'm gonna be cooking up a storm for the next few hours. I need to start prepping the turkey. I also need to prep the cinnamon rolls for tomorrow's breakfast. I got a comment that said that I should do the Joshua Weissman cinnamon rolls. So I'm gonna do those today. Never made those before. I'm a little nervous I'm gonna mess it up, but I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna prep the breakfast casserole for tomorrow. And then I think that's actually all the food that I have to do today, not too much. Then we need to set the tables, clean up around the house because Cal's parents will be here later. I think they land at 5.30 and I'm anticipating a lot of traffic getting back home and getting out of LAX. So they might not be here till late. I also ordered a pizza last night and it's just in the fridge for dinner tonight because I'm not doing any more cooking than I need to. And yes, okay, that is the schedule for right now. We've got a lot of cooking to do. I'm going to pull up some vlogs on my TV over here and get to working. So let's speed through this. Okay, just absolutely manhandled that turkey and then sanitized everything. Now let's move on to the cinnamon rolls. Woo!
I'm so sorry, I keep saying it. I'm just so tired today. I also, I haven't had caffeine, that's probably why, but I just waited until the timer went off on the cinnamon bun dough and took a little rest until then and now I'm making myself a matcha. So I thought I would share that with you guys. The matcha that I'm using today is from the Matcha Tokyo. It is so delicious and I actually used this yesterday to make my matcha creme brulee, which I'm about to actually taste test in a minute. So full circle moment. Got a little left in there. Okay, let me get a little water, whisking her up. I want caffeine, but not too much since it's already 3.30 p.m. So a matcha is perfect for a little midday pick-me-up. All right, got the matcha. Oh, geez, oh my God. I'm just, I'm not having the best day. A little vanilla stevia and then my steamed milk. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it just made me happy, yay. It's so beautiful, do you see it? Oh my God. Nothing hits like regular milk. It's so good. All right, so I had some extra creme brulee mix, batter, whatever yesterday. So I made two little small guys that I actually wanted to taste test. I mean, if they're not good, then I'm just not gonna serve them because I am not gonna remake them again. But they're all setting up in the fridge in the garage and I had extra banana cream and extra matcha. I presume if these are good, the vanilla bean one's gonna be great because that was the same base that I used for all of them. But Cal and I are gonna taste test right now and see if they're good. All right, so I already made the custard. It's set up in the fridge overnight and now I'm gonna sprinkle the sugar on top and then we're going to brulee each one. Here we go, little sugar right on top. I like a lot of sugar actually, to be honest. Sugar's on and then we brulee. Ooh. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Hey vlog. People love when you say hey vlog. That's so nice. Does that look any good? Does that look any good? Are you so excited your family's gonna be here in a couple hours? So excited. Woo! Okay, we've got the banana and the matcha. These look amazing. Cal, you wanna come taste? Yes. Should we start with the matcha or start with the banana? You choose. Let's start with banana. Banana, okay. I hope it's good. I've never tried banana cream before. Okay, I'll show you guys. Ready, you break it. A little ASMR. Is that even ASMR? Oh, look at that crackle. Oh, wow. I just hope the bananas taste good. You ready, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm. Why do you have to get so low? <laughs> My back hurts. Cheers, you didn't even cheers me. Mmm. <laughs> that's yummy. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really good. I was worried because it said to use really ripe bananas and I was worried they might taste like a mm. little rotten. No, this tastes amazing. That tastes exactly like a banana cream pie. I don't eat the rest of this, I'm so hungry. With that top, here, finish that, but then let's try the matcha. Another little ASMR. Ooh. You didn't even scrape across the... Oh, know, do it, do it, sugar. do it for them. Mm. Yeah. It's so good. I love matcha. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really good. Really nice wow. depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer, banana cream or matcha? Might be the matcha. Mm. Or matcha banana cream. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Yes. Yes. It's so good. Finish them if you want. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, I finished the breakfast casserole and now I'm gonna finish the cinnamon buns. All right, now with the cinnamon buns, I am supposed to dump the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. It looks, oh wow, it looks really good. It definitely rose. Beautiful. All right, let's speed through it.
guys, okay, I have some things that I wanna show you. Sorry about my hair clips. I'm just trying to like rush right now. Cal just went to the airport to go pick up his family. They're gonna be here so soon. As you saw, I just redid the dining area. I think it looks so cute. I need to put the dishes back on that table once they're fully dry, but everything is looking good. Please hold. I just opened up all the new packages that came. And as you guys know, Alicia's coming to my family Christmas now, Alicia and Lexi. It was kind of a last minute thing because Alicia's mom unfortunately got COVID really last minute, which Chris, I hope you're doing well. I love you so much. And when I heard that Alicia had to push her family Christmas, I was like, come over, you're coming. But then obviously last minute I had to get stuff for their stockings because I was not planning on making them stockings and I'm not having anyone feel left out. So I ordered some really cute stuff. I already filled up most of Lexi's stocking and then this stuff just came in for Alicia. I basically just looked up Shih Tzu and Docs and stuff on Amazon and I found this mug that says, a wise woman once said, fuck it, I'm getting a Dachshund and she lived happily ever after, which is so funny. Alicia got me this mug that says, proud owner of a mall she that's an asshole sometimes and that's okay or something like that and I use it all the time so I love a little dog mug. I also got her this little ice maker that is in the shape of a little wiener dog. We all know how much she loves Rosie. And then I also got her these rosy socks. And then also because she hates Chloe, and I'm just kidding, I found these pajama pants that we're gonna get here in time that have little Chloe's on them. They are so cute. So now I'm gonna stuff all this in her stocking. And then also I wanted to share with you guys the small business haul of the day. Perfect segue because these are cute little stocking stuffers. These come, oh my God. Okay, first up I didn't order this, but they gave me this little moose keychain. Or not moose, that's a cow. <laughs> So cute, oh my goodness. Okay, and then I ordered a bunch of these little keychains that I found, oh my God, <gasps> wait. This is going in with stocking. It's a little gingerbread house with ghosts on the inside and it smells like bubblegum vanilla swirl. That's going to wit. That was like a little gift that I got. And then I got this little sticker that has a little frog on it. I'm gonna give this to Ollie because we call each other frog. And it says shop small and stupid. So these come from Kristen St. Cat. Of course, I'll leave her link down below. And how cute. I'm sweating profusely right now, oh my God. How cute are are these little keychains that I got. Also perfect little stocking stuffers. Obsessed. Okay, so they're like little, what is this material? Like a plasticky, flimsy, like really nice thick material. And they had the cutest sayings on them. So of course, again, I'll link her down below. This one said, I have once again decided to be difficult in a green heart with pink. So cute. I gotta do the beauty guru hand. So cute. This one's a blue star that says, dumb bitch. I'm putting this one in Alicia's because we obviously call each other bitch. I love this little yellow star. It says, in my my villain era. The quality is so nice on these. This one says, please be nice to me, even though I am sort of mean. And I thought that was so funny. And I'm gonna give that one to Ollie. Luna is having fun over there. And then this one says, God's prettiest mistake. Actually, I think I have to give this one to Alicia. The dogs are playing. So, so cute. Okay, so the cinnamon rolls are pretty much done. I'm just now gonna pop them into the fridge until tomorrow. Then I think I'm gonna end this vlog super early today because they're gonna be here really soon. I cannot, the dogs are being so cute right now. You wanna come sit with me? Pretty much all my cooking is done. And I think I'm gonna actually get to like enjoy all tomorrow. I'm gonna bake the casserole and the cinnamon buns in the morning, make some bacon in the oven and cut up some fruit. And then for the afternoon, the only real thing I have to tackle is the turkey, but that like is more so just cooking time. So I think I'm gonna actually get to like spend time with everyone, which I'm really excited about. Oh wait, I need to show you guys because I keep saying I'm gonna show you guys the new thing in the front. Oh, and I also wanted to do a holiday house tour for you guys. Shoot, I have so much to do. Okay, then I'm gonna end the vlog a little bit early because I wanna spend time with Cal's family when they come in. So let's do the holiday house tour first. Let me go stuff the stockings and then I'll show you guys around. Okay guys, time to do the holiday house tour. All the puppies are sitting here in the front room. I'm so excited. Okay, let me get this all set up. All right, so starting with the front room, we have this gorgeous setup here. I think this honestly is like my favorite room. We had to put the extra chairs over here. So that's why there's like a lot of stuff there. But here is the front room. We've got the tree with all the fun little ornaments. I actually have an ornament from my aunt that says our first, I think it says like our first engaged Christmas or something like that. So I need to put that on her tonight. But on the TV over here, we put a really cute little like mantle fireplace, like 12 hour video that just sets all the Christmassy vibes of fireplaces on. We have our old stockings there from a couple years ago. The little candy cane pillows. I guess I'll walk around and show you. They're all so comfy. This is the blanket from Home Goods. Hello. Do you want to show off your beautiful bath and haircut? I trimmed her ears a little bit and she looks so cute. I find that if anybody has a Shih Tzu and you're watching, 
or a mall she or a dog with a round head if you trim their ears shorter it makes them look like a puppy and it's so cute so I give them both a little haircut here's Momo with her beautiful cut and color by Cal here's the tree the fireplace is on the little peppermint candy cane pillows actually I feel like they're a little bit squished maybe I'll put them like cute cute I love it the gingerbread house from Costco I love this room so much okay perfect too cute and then that's a real fireplace over there it's so pretty and if you come along this way along the stairs we have all of the stockings up if you can see here in the dining room are the beautiful tables we've got the bigger one and the smaller one in the back and then these little trees are from home goods I kind of just like put everything that normally goes in the house on this area and then I will just put it all back when everything goes into storage little garland up there on this little console table I put some fake snow oh and these little lights too I forgot about the lights here <gasps> So cute. I haven't lit those since I put them in, I think. In this little tray, I put all the little remotes for all of the lights. Oh, this guy too. I make him green for the holidays. I wish there was red. There's no red on here, but pretty. Sometimes it's a little bright though, so I'm gonna leave it off. My little shadow following me everywhere. Cute little dish, a little champagne toast, a cute Christmas tree, a little gingerbread house, cookie jar. And then this is what controls the lights for the tree. If we come along this way, Luna's leading the way. All the presents are under the tree. And then if we pan around, this is the view of the living room. Luna loves to sit on the couch. We've got all these cute little pillows, squishmallow trees, and then little trees from Target, more of those home goods blankets. These little uh, snowflake pillows are from Pottery Barn. Another one of the little trays, these are Cal and my white elephant gifts. He did the air tag, and then I did the scratchers, so those are there. All the stockings are here. We got Luna, Momo, Daisy, Remy, Ollie, Cal. Oh wait, no, Cal and then Daisy are switched. I have Lexi and Alicia's stockings over here, which I need to hang. I was gonna hang them up there, but then Cal was like, God forbid they fall off while someone's walking underneath and hurt someone. And I was like, that's true, that's true. So I'm gonna find a new place for that. The dogs love to play on the couch. They're super comfy. The bar looks so cute. Over here, here's the kitchen. I'm gonna put the hot chocolate station over here. These little candy cane peppermint placemats are so adorable. They're from Home Goods. I will say I washed them like the tag told me to and they absolutely fell apart. So that made me sad, but they're still really cute. Oh, I should put my ring back on, hello. Little tray, tree from Target, all the things. Oh, I've got two more candlesticks I have to put over there. Also, don't mind Daisy and Luna are playing. I thought I was missing a couple. Okay, there we go. I'll put those over there. Don't mind the kitchen. It's a little bit messy right now, but we put over here the peppermint bark from Costco and these little jars from Target, this little tree from Home Goods, the ornaments up there from Home Goods, and then the garland and the peppermint little thingy. Wit did that, and it looks so, so cute. The kitchen is messy, but here are my little gingerbread houses that I'm gonna put on the hot chocolate bar. I think I'm gonna set that up tonight and then it'll be ready for tomorrow. My peppermint bark cookies are in there. These are little table runners from Home Goods, the peppermint ones. And then just like cute little Target and Home Goods decor. That's pretty much it for the kitchen. I just love it so much though. It's so festive and fun in here. They are brawling currently. And then I actually need to go upstairs. So I'll show you guys upstairs. I didn't do much. All the decor for the most part is in the front room. Oh wait, also we got this built into the house. How how beautiful is that? I moved the console table that was there over here. And now this is really awesome storage for all shoes and things because shoes just kind of were getting thrown everywhere. So the shoes go into these drawers, this giant cabinets, which if you guys watch Lauren's vlogs, that's where I got this whole inspo from. I need to actually organize them properly, but I put gardening stuff, dog stuff, all that stuff over here. Beautiful. So I will definitely organize that in the new year. I'm not touching that right now. I can't get over how homey the front room looks. It looks so good. Also the fire's hot. I'm turn that off. I'm sweating. Cal set up the bed in the office. It doesn't look very cute, so I will redo that right now. Okay, much better. The guest room is all set up nice and clean now, and then I also organized the bathroom already. Also, Cal's mom and dad checked before they even packed if I had toiletries and stuff, so luckily, since I have everything covered, they're like, sweet, we don't even need to travel with all that stuff. So I restocked the little bathroom drawer for whenever guests come over. We have toothbrushes, toothpaste, shaving cream, face washes, deodorant, little uh, eye gels. These are like little shower bomb situation. Some summer Fridays, I had some extra. Thought that was like a nice little treat. I'm gonna also add in the hair ties and bobby pins, the body lotion. I will put, I'll put it right here on the vanity. And then I have the sugar scrub that I'm gonna put into the shower. I've got the shower stocked with Living Proof, Olaplex, Olay, all this awesome stuff. Oh, I also put some NARS skin products here because it just looks so pretty and matches the bathroom so well. Some Febreze, we got the mouthwash, the little cups in case anyone needs that. And that is the guest room situation. How pretty is this bathroom? I love the way
way that it turned out. Oh my God, I had to take my jacket off because I was sweating so much. Okay guys, on that note, I'm going to end today's vlog. Miss, be sure to come back tomorrow because I'll show you everything when it's all done. The whole family here, the last bit of the cooking stuff. But yes, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.